my name is Nicole Aaron. I'm Chloe DeLandis. And welcome to Ithaca, New York. Home of Cornell University. Come join us on our campus tour. Cornell University is a proud member of the Ivy Leagues and is spread out over 745 acres. It is also known as the first American university. Cornell is home to not only some famous firsts in American education, but some very famous alumni, particularly in the field of literature. Cornell University is located atop East Hill in Ithaca, New York. The campus is divided by two gorges and has many waterfalls, which make its natural habitat very unique to other schools. In fact, Cornell is so big, it has its own zip code. Cornell enrolls 13,515 undergraduates and nearly 6,000 graduate and professional students at the Ithaca campus. Medical graduate and professional students push the total to 20,400 for the entire university. The student makeup is split evenly, 50% men and 50% women. Cornell students come from each of the 50 states from over 120 nations and 30% have a multicultural background. I don't think that there is what you could call a typical Cornell student. We have one of the most diverse student bodies around and diverse in any sense of the way that you could possibly define that word. Freshman admission to Cornell University is extremely selective. Out of the over 30,000 applications received each year, they strive to enroll a freshman class of 3,050. You know high grades and test scores are important for selection. However, things like your character, extracurricular and volunteer activities, special talents, essays and interviews all weigh heavily into the acceptance process. Standardized tests are part of the admission process. There's no magic number that guarantees a student will or will not get accepted. We're going to look for AP courses, honors courses, IB program. If a school doesn't offer those things, the student will not be penalized for that. We'll look at what the student has accomplished with respect to what's been offered to them. Tuition and fees, housing, dining, books, and personal expenses at endowed colleges, meaning those not funded by New York State, cost roughly $48,000 per year. Contract colleges, or those funded by the state of New York, cost $32,710 per year for in-state residents and cost roughly $47,000 per year for out-of-state residents. Cornell University has a storied track record for diversity and excellence on campus, and their motto for short states, any person, any study. Research opportunities are unparalleled for students, and the university offers more than 70 formal majors in addition to dual degree programs and majors that cross traditional departmental boundaries. Did you know Cornell was the first university to award a degree in veterinary medicine? They also awarded the first doctorates in electrical and industrial engineering. Cornell endowed the first professorships in American history, musicology, and American literature, and was the first U.S. university to offer a major in American studies. It's amazing that we're working with these people. I was actually on Yahoo News, it's my webpage, and I clicked on an article about teens, a teen decision making or something, read it, and realized that the author was my faculty advisor. So these are the kind of professors that we're having with the kind of influence that they have. Well, the professor actually has spent 20 years working with immigration and during class actually we had to take um, a few class periods off because he had to go testify before Congress in front of a congressional hearing on immigration. So what we were doing in class directly applied to what was going on in the real world and that was one of my favorite semesters in classes. Okay. Forty Nobel laureates have been affiliated with Cornell either as faculty members or students. I think the faculty here is, to use the student's word, awesome. It is an incredible faculty. I am sure there are lazy people around here somewhere, but I don't know any of them. I just know people who work very hard, and the most impressive thing to me is that someone like, like Roald Hoffman, who is a, a, a Nobel Prize winner in chemistry, cares deeply about teaching, so that the teaching mission of the university is as important as any other. For all your bookworms out there, Cornell was one of the first U.S. universities to allow their students to borrow books and also has 35 student publications. Cornell has 36 varsity athletic teams to offer to their students, 18 men's and 18 women's. During the season, the crew team practices on Cayuga Lake, but during their notoriously cold winters, they practice inside here at the ERG. The school features over 800 student clubs and organizations, over 35 student publications, and even has their own university press, which is also one of the largest in the country. 
30% of Cornell students are involved in Greek life. We have sports interest groups, political activism groups, and then it also ranges down to the more interest groups. We have the Vegetarian Club and the Reactionary I Heart Meat Club. So there's always something for you to find. Cornell has its own full working on-campus dairy. The milk made at the dairy is served exclusively at the dining halls and used to make Cornell ice cream. You can even taste flavors here at the dairy bar made by Cornell students. Cornell has a long list of distinguished alumni, including politicians like Janet Reno and Ruth Bader Ginsburg, television personalities like Bill Maher and Keith Olbermann, and storied authors like Toni Morrison and Kurt Vonnegut. Cornell University is the only Ivy League school that serves as the federal land-grant institution of its state. Currently, Cornell is halfway on a mission to secure over a billion dollars for cancer and disease research at its Wild Cornell Medical College. Cornell's overall campaign to raise $4 billion for the university is already more than a third of the way there. If you like meeting new people, trying out new things, diversity, and a whole wealth of interests and opportunities for you, then Cornell is definitely the place for you. Thank you for joining us on our campus tour of Cornell. Go Big Red!